So we're back with a bunch of errors and changing things to an export. This video, I'm not gonna lie, it took me an hour and 30 minutes to actually fix all the errors and a majority of it, I, I would say a majority like 45 to 55 minutes was me just looking for small errors. So I'm gonna bring them up just in the GitHub today. Uh, I feel like this is gonna be a little easier to follow. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see. And just so you guys know, everything does work. So uh, we start it off with in here, we'll refresh right in here, no error in there, no errors in here, it searches for your player. We create a new character, this one we'll name John Doe, for an example, and we will select a year. So let's go all the way up to year 1996, and we'll go May 14th, and we will be a male. Uh, this is obviously sex. Uh, you could add other if you want. For right now, there's just two. And there you go. Now you see John Doe, and you cl click select here. Uh, right now, though, uh, there is no spawn select, so you will be practically just stuck like this for the time being. Um, I think we are either going to go into admin uh or spawn select. I think we're actually going to do spawn select uh, next, just so we don't have to be looking at this. But as you can see, still no errors anywhere, so it is working properly. Um, and just like that, we'll disconnect for right now, and I will show you these errors. So let's look at the first one. First one, we had a couple of small things. So we removed close character UI and player login, and we basically just commented those out counted to come into those out we changed selected care to just select care uh so that not really a big change uh in selecting you can see the same thing it's just the change right there um and ui callback create character uh we changed this create data to a lowercase c in the create uh and that's really like the only thing that changed we also realized that on line 34 this has the line right here as well uh we see that we actually type panes and it's supposed to be pairs and then the care data and then if data first name blah 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 reason then do this correctly we remove the commenting commenting as we didn't need to print out anything anymore and then uh reason if not nil so going down we have this is all in cl care by the way uh we have the reason if then uh Nothing really changed here. Uh, we actually we accidentally just changed these quotes. Uh, I think I accidentally caught, I just used the wrong quotes. It doesn't really matter about the quotes. Uh, nonetheless, uh, we changed this care data to a lowercase c. Scrolling down all the way to 93, line 93. Uh, once again, care data changes on 93 and 94 to this lower c and capital D in data. All right. Next for setup characters, line 97, uh, we did setup characters and not setup character as we're setting up multiple characters. So just quick little S at the end. Uh, and then we have the MP functions trigger server callback. Let's see, I might have messed up a spelling error right here. Um, oh, no, no, no. It was capital get character. I, it's actually meant to be lowercase get character. That was just a mistype. Um, and then we actually put in the wrong quote or the quotes. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You could use either quotes. I sometimes mix them just because I'm holding shift by accident. Uh, line 104, uh, selecting characters just turned into selecting care Victor for the NUI. Uh, we changed the selected care to select care once again on line 106. And then line 108, we commented, commented out the MP spawn open menu as that is not yet in, but will be the next thing currently worked on. Line 115, same thing, selected change to selected care. Uh, and that function on line 18 of selected care also changed just to select care. And at the bottom, it was selecting care equals false. Now it is selecting care equals value as that is the value that is going to get passed in. And the last ones for this were 
line 127, 128, uh, where start cam, I changed it to start camera. And then freeze entity, uh, it used to be get played pen when that is the wrong native. It's actually supposed to be get player pen. So we switched that, which fixed that issue. Um, and so I'm going to write down what this actually did here for an example or a small example. So right here, uh, what this actually did, uh, fixed small mistypes. So it's fixed small mistypes. So we'll commit that one and then we'll go on to this next. So this next one is SV care. Um, first line one and two, instead of care join, it is now MP dash base colon care colon joined. As you are joined, you have joined the server on line 28, uh, line 28, we just changed SRC to the regular source here in local ID. Uh, so we're grabbing that source and then line 32 was the if result. nothing actually changed here. I'm not too sure why this bugged out. And then we just added a space line. Uh, I think, oh. Yeah, I don't know what actually changed here. We just had a space line after this end just to clean it up a little bit. Um, scrolling down on SV care line 62. Uh, our local citizen ID. Um, actually didn't change at all. You don't need to change anything in here. Um, I just changed the quotes for some reason. Ugh. <laughs> Once again, just no reason no reason for it actually uh then line 70 71 so we had this mp dot starting uh this is actually in your config file uh we actually had it as mp dot new player so we just changed from starting to new player and then the cash balance and the bank balance and that fixed that perfectly and then we removed the line the blank line on 81. uh and what this does is uh fixed mistypes on sv all right, next one was SV commands. We had a small mistake here on line 16 and 17. This was the if statement. Uh, the if statement was actually just supposed to end with a regular end right here. And then following that would be an end with a function of source args and user, which then we would add a notification in, and then we just end it off as normal. Um, so we'll just write that as missed end as we did cl core uh we did a few things here our print function was wrong so called back mp uh it wouldn't go through unless we added these quotes right here and then we had admin new so this was the new thing we added uh one of the new things we added for updating your group so mp dash admin colon update group and it basically sets your player date data to that group so uh So it sets your user group to data. And we will commit that one. Okay, next was CL events. Uh, we basically removed some commented commenting. Uh, and because of this, we moved some lines up. So local keys got moved up. All this got moved up. Uh, MP.function source, get player data. That's all correct. No, uh, we actually return MP.player data, not MP get player data it's just mp dot player data now and then the delete vehicle function i believe this got moved up because we removed this comment um and then the delete vehicle we actually had a little quote right there uh vehicle direction same thing basically just got moved up a line uh all the same thing uh same thing with hit just got moved up a line and then return nil so everything got moved up a line from here um let's see okay so we moved some things so get post is player actually got moved uh trigger server callback is actually on line 48 now instead of line 84 so you see it get removed right here and then uh it does the same thing it's literally the same exact thing get players function got moved up so everything basically got moved up here um, you guys can make sure this goes with yours if you want. Uh, the files are going to be up relatively soon though. 
so we can go through that. So yeah, as you can see, get close player got moved up. Uh, the only things that actually got sort of changed here, I believe, was setting character data right here. So MP dash set character data, we just changed it to a shortened version. So MP dash set care data, uh, and then we just ended that off just like that. So. Uh, So we moved some functions up and missed one uh, mistype. So what is this? SV events here. Uh, I had the most issues with this, I believe. What is this? What happened here? Wait, what actually happened in SV events? Let's see this. Um, SV events looks totally fine. What the fuck? Um, as for events, uh, actually had everything still right in it. I don't know why, why are we, what is this? What is this? Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy SV events. We're going to discard these changes. And we're just going to copy and paste them back in and save. Um, SV events, I don't believe, actually changed anything except we added the MP base update player here. Uh, other than that, though, the cre everything else should be correct and nothing changed. Um, so we're just going to we're just going to commit that one. Uh, FX manifest, we just added all the files back. Not really anything new there. Gameplay, we changed this. We had a mistype right here. It was get played pad. It's supposed to be get player. Uh, so we fixed a mistype. And let's see. App.js. We added, let's see what we did here. Um, once again, we just sort of move things. Uh, so line 17 has got from line 20 because we added a few more extra spaces up here. Uh, so you can see var rotate factor is now zero up here on line three. So we basically just added uh, some spacing and nothing else really got changed to be honest. So you can see this got removed, but it actually just got altered into these additional spaces on line 31, 32, and instead of going to 34, it goes to 37. Um, so we had a little small space here just to make it a little more easy to read. Um, I believe that's it for this. We just made sure all these were correct. Obviously, since stuff got pushed down, other lines also got pushed down like 91, got pushed down to 93, 95, uh, got pushed down to 97. Uh, other than that, we had a note for sanitizing inputs, which is already completely done, to be honest. Uh, so that's not really needed, but uh, added spacing to help readability. That's really all that was. Index. So same thing here. We, we removed some spacing. Uh, we had a lot of spacing. So a uh, few errors on your HTML that you will 100% see is these button class. So create button, we added this. So data dash CID uh, is supposed to be one and the following is supposed to be two. The following is supposed to be three and four because you have four slots. You have to make sure this is correct. Otherwise you will get a CID error when creating a character. You just won't grab that CID. Next is line, ooh, line 60. Uh, create container hidden. I spelled container wrong. I missed the A. Can you believe that? Small things, big changes though. Um, also, your SV underscore events. Uh, I believe I accidentally put dot events. Just change that to underscore if you have not already. And then uh, we just removed other. Uh, I was mainly testing. I was mainly testing to see if there was an error popping up just from having multiple values, there wasn't, uh, you can keep other in, uh, but really you just got to make sure you have this data dash CID and set it equal to one, two, three, and four. 
for your character slots. It should be the same as this data dash care ID. So uh, fixed CID slot. In main CSS, um, nothing changed. Literally nothing changed. Uh, it's all the same. I just removed some spacing that I had right here or added some spacing by accident when I was changing colors. Other than that, nothing changed. It's just CSS. You don't need to worry about that. If you followed the video, great. Next would be player.lua. We just added a small space in this player.lua and then we commit it. Now, what we are going to do, our last thing that we are going to do for this base, we have a few things here. You can see export and change for export. We're going to be changing the Git object to an export. So how we're going to do this is a few, a few ways. So um, right off the bat, we're going to comment this out. We're going to comment this out. So highlight control slash will highlight it. And we will do this. So exports. Um, MP dash core. Uh, or MP dash get object. So we're going to use get object, uh, comma function. And here we're going to close this off and end just like this. And what we're going to basically do is return MP. And this is for server side. Now we will be taking a look at your client side for this as well. It's really, guess what? The same exact thing. Um, so we'll take this, go right in here. We'll comment this out one more time and we will add that export. Uh, so now I'll show you sort of how to call this. So we'll write it in here. It's gonna be local MP equals exports. Uh, these brackets and then it's going to be mp dash base colon mp get object and since it's a function it's going to look exactly like that so you write that in your client and your server side just like that and it should should be good should be absolutely fine well, other than that, just like this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Go right in here. A lot of changes because there was a lot of errors. Believe it or not, there was a lot of errors. Um, if you're still having trouble, I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It took me how long did it, it took me almost hour thirty to an hour forty to get this correct. And if you're still having these issues, please feel free to hop in the Discord and uh, it'll, most likely the files will be out by the time you're watching this, but you'll see a lot of errors. Um, just take your time, relax. And if you need to look side to side, just feel free to do that. Feel free to look at the GitHub as it will be uh, released by the 18th, which is when this video is gonna come out. Leave a like, comment, and be prepared for the spawn and admin stuff coming up next. Thank you.